Welcome my friends and today I'm going to share with you another non-alcoholic beer from Go Brewing out of Naperville, Illinois. This is going to be a look at their Sunshine State Tropical IPA. It is done with mango and peach. Comes in at just under a half percent ABV. Here is a look at the can there with some of the artwork. Now if you saw the interview I had done with Joe Chura from Go Brewing, we actually uh, talked about this one during that broadcast. And I did enjoy one of these then, but now I'm going to go ahead and separate out some of my thoughts around the beer. This did win a silver medal at the Craft Beer Awards also in 2023. Let's go ahead and crack this one open and get it into a glass. All right, so here's a look at the beer. It's got a nice, actually, mango color. As you can see, a mango orange color. The head is just about half a finger, but it looks like it's going to dissipate out pretty quickly here. On the nose, definitely get a nice deep feel of the mango, and I do remember this now after taking a sniff there. It really comes out of the glass rather easily. Get that peach also behind the mango, so both flavors come out nicely in play on this one here. As far as the body itself, you can see there, it is hazy for sure. Taste-wise, So you get a nice dabbling of the mango and the peach and the taste. The mango, for me, comes out more than what the peach actually does. It has a nice thirst quenching, refreshing quality to the beer itself. You can really feel the hops hitting kind of in the throat area. So you have a nice hop feel with this beer here. Goes down pretty easy on the back end. Again, very light because we are looking at a non-alcoholic beer. So. Body-wise, while it is lighter, it doesn't really have as much of a quality that I would consider to be as uh, thin or watery, so it holds up very nice for the body. It does have a nice little juicy appeal to the beer. I will say, as far as any uh, mouthfeel to it, it does have a nice feel. It does have some um, sensation there where you do have some of the astringency a little bit of a like a little bit of a mouth pucker and not really anything great but you do have a little bit of that taking place you also have a nice prickling on the tongue from the carbonation and overall you get a nice splash of the non alcoholic beer itself it does have a pretty good similarity to an ipa this would be a nice one to actually have maybe with that burger especially if it's like a spicy type burger easy one you can have with pizza but you know, if you're in a situation where you want to have something like a beer, but you can't have the beer, this one uh, does fit nicely in that regard. So overall, I think it's pretty decent. This is one I did like on the show. For me, on tap wise, I think it's decent enough that it really fits the bill very easily. I'm going to go ahead and give this one here a 3.5 out of 5. I think um, I can see myself if I was somewhere, couldn't have a beer, didn't want to have a beer, where I can sit back and enjoy a few of these and I'd be pretty satisfied with them. If you've had anything from Go Brewing or if you're drinking some non-alcoholic beer, let me know what you're drinking by dropping a comment as well. And I look forward to catching up with you guys soon. Cheers, everybody.